Hello everybody, welcome to your channel Italian Diaries and today we have Drovin with us and Drovin has recently received a visa to study in Italy and I'm too excited to uh, know each and everything from him that how he applied, uh, how what was his interview questions, uh, what was the application process that he followed or the visa application he followed and each and everything which will be very important for you. Okay, so let's start. So welcome Drovin, welcome to the channel. Thank you. Thank you for coming man. Uh, so, Dhruvin, my first question will be, uh, when did you apply for the visa and when you received your visa? Actually, I applied for visa on uh, 14 June, uh, it's starting date of Mumbai Consulate taking applications and I got my visa nearly in one week on uh, 22nd June, within uh, 5 working days. So, it's very fast for the Italy student visa. Wow. And in which embassy you applied? Uh, Mumbai Consulate, general. Okay. So when did you take appointment? Uh, actually, I just take appointment on Monday, 13 June, uh, one day prior, uh, because I regularly followed on uh, embassy website, like layer that it's uh, starting or not. So on Monday, they published the checklist and all the details. And after I booked the uh, visa slot and I go for all bank statements and all after I go for Mumbai train, via train. That's great. So you were lucky. Because yes, I know students yes. waiting for like appointment, I don't know, last year students still waiting for appointments. <laughs> yes. Anyways, moving yes. on to the next question, that is, uh, if you can tell us in brief, what are the documents that you used for your visa application? Anything important if you want to mention about documents? Maybe you have got any scholarship yeah. and you have also used those uh, scholarship documents as well. Uh, no, actually I didn't got the merit-based scholarship by, uh, provided by the Padua University. But I had some private scholarship like uh, from ASME, which is a American body. So they got me a two thousand dollars last year in during my bachelor studies. So not a, a long period. So it's a recent. Uh, so it I used uh, that fund, and also I recommend uh, for new students that they uh, focus on the funds from their father. Or I like to mention that uh, if anyone can do a job. Uh, for the master students so it will be better to get a, a chance of visa okay so for the specific uh, uh, document parts i would like to mention the uh, sponsor letter and for second is cover letter so as uh, you helped me to write my own cover letter so that's a great part of uh, your help Thank so, you. also the uh, course uh, which you created so that's a lot of help like uh, in february i purchased your february or march i think so i purchased your course and uh, i got all the information i'm little bit confused about pre-enrollment and uh, different procedures or so post style and uh, other documents so all the information i get from your course thank you for that thank you so much i'm so glad that you really uh, got so much help from the course and i think the scholarship also uh, you also went through the scholarship videos on the course and samples. Yes, Did, yes. Are you also uh, applying uh, for regional scholarship? Uh, yes, I I would like to apply for that. But uh, it's uh, when I move to Italy, then I would I have to apply for that. So right now I'm preparing all the documents via your video helps and also lingual translator, which you recommend in your videos. So. Okay, so uh, you're taking uh, that. Of that, yeah. yes. uh, so Dhruvin, if you are comfortable, can you share with us how much fund that you like, how much fund you have shown for the visa? Yes, uh, actually, uh, me and my father have joint sponsorship as I work for the Daikin Group. So I have little bit two to three lakh rupees uh, from my side, and my father has uh, nine to ten lakh rupees. So I totally showed twelve lakh rupees, and uh, in my father's business account, I have additionally showed one lakh uh, twenty thousand or something. So total 12 to 13 lakh in total so i didn't mention the one and half lakh which is for my father's business so uh, if they ask me so how uh, your father manages manages your business uh, if you are showing all funds in a your four year visa so i left one and half lakh rupees for my father's business so they didn't ask this question so uh, that's for the fund part okay great thank you thank you so much so uh you must have shown some kind of like business certificate or some documents yes, which yes. proves that your father is I have attached all the yes I have attached all business like uh, last year's ITR receipts and a letter from bank like uh, saying that they have much much funds 
and uh, some tax receipts also and some bills of my father's uh, of client which uh, they have signed and all that things hmm, really that's, that's nice okay i have shown my uh, past uh, salary slips which i worked for uh, the company so it will helpful uh, if candidate is also earning some money that's why okay so the fund i mean the funds with what like your father uh, helped you like around 9 lakh 10 lakh so that fund was in your bank account or in your father's bank account actually uh, 9 to 10 lakh rupees in his uh, saving account and uh, uh, 2 2 lakh rupees fd in my account and 1 lakh liquid cash in my bank account actually the interviewer uh, asked me about that how much months you work for that company and uh, she confirmed that uh, if I earn some money so it in my it should be in my bank account not in my father's bank account so I would recommend if you earn that money so put in in your bank account in your name so that will helpful for the visa officer mm, great and uh, uh, Meghna ma'am should I uh, should I uh, mention about the UPI payments because uh, my bank statement like uh, 30 to 32 pages so don't do a, a UPI payment small UPI payments uh, so it will be very difficult for you to mention in the interview so that's a, a major flow in my application okay so yeah i understand so if you are like doing so many UPI payments maybe of 10 rupees 20 rupees 50 rupees yes. so your bank statement is full with UPI payments and like you don't have any other major transaction that they can see easily yes so okay so yeah that that is great that's a very great tip actually i never thought about it yes. because the indians will like every like 10 rupees 5 rupees things yeah even when i went to india even you know there was like um street vendor and he was selling vegetables and he had upi on his bicycle and then another one on his bike so i was literally like amazed this time when i went to india because i went to india after like four years so it was very new for me seeing everywhere they are accepting UPI payments. Yes. Not good for the visa. Okay, yeah, not good for the visa. So moving on to the next question that is very important for the students, that is the interview question. So please explain us in detail a little bit uh, that what was the question they asked you and what you answered for that. Uh first of all they will ask you about my basic introduction though so i introduce myself first of all my name my family background and uh, my family members where i live and what my fathers and mothers doing and a uh, little bit about my background education like uh, i have done my bachelor's in mechanical engineering and uh, the second one they ask why you choosing the italy for your higher education and why this specific course so I mentioned about like I work in the HVAC heating and ventilation industry. So I would like to further uh, enhance my knowledge uh, to uh, good uh, in my career. So masters in energy engineering with uh, specialization in uh, HVAC industry. So this will help me in my future career. So that's it for the why Italy and uh, why a specific course. And they ask me uh, application process of the Padova University because they are very strict about that. So they, uh, what is your uh, strength of your profile? So I said like I get the scholarships and I have some uh, patents and uh, skills regarding designs and HVAC industry certifications and all. So after that's it for the Padova University. So after they ask me about the how much you, uh, universities did you apply and, and how much acceptance did you got. So I said uh, like uh, I applied for Sapienza University, Florence, Casino and Padova and last one is Bologna University. So I got the acceptance in all of university except the Bologna because Bologna had uh, 15 to 20 seats for the international students. So there will be a low chance. So they asked me for the acceptance letter or any email for the reference and I give them all in my application attached with them. And after they uh, talked about my sponsorship, as I mentioned, like uh, I, we have joint sponsorships. So I have told the, all information about my sponsorships. And uh, lastly, they uh, add uh, about my hobbies, what I, in free time, what I uh, would like to do. And if I am in Italy, so after uh, study time, what will you do in your free time? So I will add about, I will attend the extracurricular activities and uh, like uh, attending the labs and uh, sports and all that's it for this uh, thank you and interview finished very different questions i mean 
more or less same type of questions but uh, it was very different and the questions the way they have framed the questions only the student who have applied by themselves or who are aware about all the process can answer it correctly but if some student who is applying entirely through consultancy and they know nothing about the study process and consultancy is not keeping you in loop that what they are doing where they are applying then you cannot answer of course all these question that what was the application yes, process or in which university you applied because if you have applied by yourself in some university or if you are following if some consultancy is applying and you are following where they are applying in each and everything then you can easily take the name of university in front of interviewer otherwise they can understand it you didn't apply it by yourself actually mumbai council is doing like uh, first of all uh, vfs uh, take your documents and after uh, some 10 to 15 minutes consulate uh, people will get your interview so what are you talking in the interview they will match with your documents so that's my thing what i'm thinking so maybe it is wrong or it is right so we'll match or uh, like your statements is uh, correct as per your document or not so please mention the which you wrote in the cover letter and you are speaking in the interview that will it should be match mm -hmm. very important yes so uh, okay let's talk more about interview so how was it in a sense about like the ambience about you you were confident yeah, or kind so of bit afraid you ate something in the morning or you went without eating anything uh, in mumbai i Uh, reach uh, the one day before, so I morning and I go to the VFS and I eat uh, something uh, like sandwiches and coffee in uh, first floor of uh, VFS center. They have cafe. So after I'm little bit nervous about that, but uh, there is a like consultancy like Unitalia, so they help me a lot uh, for the confidence and I take an interview. So, and after uh, after the completing my interview in ele nearly eleven o'clock, so that's it. Uh, it was a good uh, interview. and uh, i feel confident about that so it's uh, overall process is nice and the vfs people also help me to form the fill uh, fill the form and all things eh, regarding the documentation also i watch your videos for the regarding you take the uh, uh, previous year students for the interview so that's helped me a lot for from your side so thanks for that and now you are contributing to the upcoming student this is like a yeah. cycle you know <laughs> great yeah. great and uh, this last thing about the related to interview in visa document submission how you arrange your document in the visa file actually i have attached the all color copies first of all i take my passport photo copies it not required but i attach it and after the uh, sponsor documents uh, uh, before it i attach the uh, admission letter pre enrollment summary and uh, after that all required document like uh, sponsorship letter sponsors id proof and i would like to mention if your father's name on the id proof is different to so please make the one and the same certificate because uh, in my area gujarat mumbai maharashtra type in southwestern part of india uh, the government is not issuing the one and the same certificate so i have to change or uh, as per the my itr my father i changed my father's name in aadhar card and all the bank statements so it will be headache for you if it is uh, doesn't match in your educational documents and uh, bank statements so i will recommend that and after all, i will uh, uh, attach the uh, rental agreement which i uh, go through from the housinganywhere.com and uh, i have attached the uh, travel insurance from the reliance general and uh, that's it for that Okay. Also give my passport to them. And your mark sheet and also you are you like what was yeah. the order of your like mark sheet and your degree? As per the checklist like uh, first we have to give the admission letter, pre enrollment summary, fir my after color copies of my degree trans at degree and transcript with apostille stamp and after uh, edu, uh, sponsorship uh, document which is uh, as I mentioned like aadhar card and uh, all those thing after RTR of last 3 years. bank statements and uh, rental agreement if you don't have you can book uh, hotels or something like after the health insurance and after the flight ticket in the checklist they mentioned the round trip but uh, it may be for the short term visa uh, you can say uh, sh show them one uh, 1000 euro plus uh, uh, mentioned amount so uh, flight tickets and after that's it maybe these are the all documents which i needed for the visa Okay, so you um, 
uh, like the order of your document in the file where as for the checklist like for second third and like yes. that okay and for the flight tickets you mentioned yeah it is very important because it's mentioned in the checklist that you need round flight tickets but you provided one yes. flight ticket like for coming here in Italy and then 1000 euro in your bank account additional top up yes. right okay 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 so yeah, this uh, this is uh, like an important thing because many students are confused that how much, uh, you know, whether they have to give uh, also the round the ticket for the flight as well. Yes. So, any tips for the students that you want to give? Overall, like uh, overall yeah. in the process, anything? Actually, I will recommend students to, uh, as well as you start a media mind to study in Italy. So start your process like I, started my process in November to apply in universities like Polymy and all but I didn't apply in Polymy so after uh, in January and February they will start distributing the acceptance letter or offer letters so I get my in uh, uh, end of January so I started from that seeing your videos and uh, all the get the information about it and you publish the course so I get all the regard uh, requested uh, information in one course so I didn't get anybody else so after that i preparing all the documents like apostyle in march or something else and after i go for visa in june earliest as possible so start early uh, whenever you made your mind so that's it from my side thank you great thank you Dhruvin. thank you so much for sharing all these information and uh, see you in italy so you will be coming to padua right yes uh, i will be coming in padua Okay, so yeah, great. See you in Padua then. Thank you so much. And uh, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Okay. Ciao, ciao. We do it together. You have watched my bye interviews, bye. right? So let's do it together. Sure. One, two, three. Bye bye. Ciao, ciao. ciao, ciao.